All right. Today we are going to be covering Pyro Basics. To start, let's drop in a ground plane. To do so, let's go under. Yeah, things have changed in this one. Go around. Collider. Grid. Okay. Grid now. Yeah, it used to be right here. Uh, it's under collisions now. Ground plane. That's what we want. We're starting. Then we want a sphere. Not sound. I don't care about sound. And because I was just thinking about that, I want a sphere. Not a flipping speaker. Okay. Well, leaving you there is fine. Now let's hop over to Pyrofex to do a smokeless flame for starters. And as you can see, kind of went through, so hit T. Let's move you up. Oh, right. It's out of top. Let's redo that. You guys click on the sphere, hop in to sphere level, delete you. It's just the sphere now. Make it just a little bit off the ground. Yeah, that should be fine. I won't really notice it later. Like before, smokeless flames go over to like 46 or something, so there's actually some pyro. It's done, done all the calculations. As you can see, it's going into the floor a little bit. The floor is kind of cutting it off, but when we render, the floor goes bye bye. So, let's talk about our materials. Now before that, let's go scroll in, find a good camera angle. I think that's good there. So let's go realize camera control. Make sure you're holding control, click on camera, makes camera from your current viewport. Lock. You use the lock only if you're changing, but we don't want to change, so. There we go. Okay. Now then, let's see what are we working with. Hmm. Not bad for a start. So, let's click over here. Click on a little red. You just test with things to just see what they do. Now then, let's get rid of you, and that does not look good. Smoke's kind of choking it, aren't you?
So you could spend hours on just the materiality of this in itself. So we won't. There's just a lot of stuff like you can mess with the density scale and make that 0.8. Go over to smoke field. But since we have no smoke on this, make that zero. Field intensity, make that five. Make it hotter. They all do different things. Like contour is just a line, so we clamp it upper limit. Clamp it lower limit. Decrease it a little bit. Soft clip, press to four. Let's see if this does much. No, not really much. Fit to range. Eight. Actually, let's make that four and four. Enable some noise on it. Fire temperature. again. Straight doing a little bit. But whatever. Let's take these off. Starting to look interesting, but this is getting closer to being cell shaded for video games, but it still looks good. Yeah. Let's say this is exactly what you want, so then just like in the other videos, you would, of course, organize this. Go to your out, create a mantra. Create a directory where you want it to be. Extra image planes. You'll definitely want SSS. You want to go with multi instead. Baselit and unlit. Line lighting if you actually used lighting, which we didn't. Don't need any of those. 
create one of our own on our CF color and we also want direct lighting select our camera to make sure we got the right one. Camera one, yep. Then you do frame range because this is an actual simulation. Then to finish us off, I want to make this micro. Mm, just do straight up PBR. A bit of a, mo a slight motion blur. Make sure we can do that in post. Then we want to make this a 6 by 6. And you're good to go. And then just hit render to disk and it's all good to go. And what you see here, oh, before I forget, don't hit render yet. You want to make sure that this here, not you, the ground plane here is turned off. So that way all that renders is only your pyro, nothing else. So let's say for instance that you're making this for a video game. One of the things you would have to make sure that you do is when you render it you'd have to make it over like eight frames if you're having to make this into a sprite sheet or if this is going to be like an interactable object then what you'd have to do is make a VDB All right wrong network don't care about trace you'd need to go into your nope Oh, that's right, it's under here. Then connect this into a VDB. VDB. Bart. Yeah, particles. Yeah, we don't really have. Let's just call that our. No, doesn't like that anymore. Didn't previous versions. Then. So let's make it up from surface. Let's see if just straight up BDB is any easier. Then it will convert your um, VDB, I mean, it will create your pyro and make it into a VDB, which is geometry. So that way you can bring it out and into the other programs. Unless you just need it as sprites which will just be placed onto geometry cards. It all just depends on how it's going to be. If it's a side scroller and flat, cards are fine. Like certain MMOs are fine with just having simulation data being placed onto 2D geometry cards. Like grass, sometimes leaves of trees are all just placed onto multiple cards that are all blended together. It all just depends on how it's going to look, but if it's VR, it must be geometry cards you cannot get away with because you're looking at 360 degrees. So that covers today, I mean covers today's tutorial. So. On to the next one.